it's Mark. I am the Sanderson Collector. And I am here today to talk about the differences between the first state and the second state of The Way of Kings Leatherbound from the Kickstarter. Goodness, those books are heavy. So the Kickstarter was run in 2019 and was a massive success, raising nearly $7 million. They shipped out nearly 40,000 copies of The Way of Kings from the Kickstarter, I believe. The initial expectation was that they would ship out, I think it was 10,000, and so they had that many ready to go, and so those were all sent out in the year 2020, one year after the Kickstarter was over. All the other orders, which went way over the number that they expected and had ready, were shipped out in 20. 21. These editions are considered the same printing, but the 2021 copies were from a second print run, and there are some very minor differences between the two books, and I am going to show y'all how to distinguish between the 2020 and 2021 editions today. So on the left here we have my numbered copy from the 2020 set, and on the right here we have an unnumbered copy from the 2021 set. And on the outside, these are identical. The slip cases are exactly the same, and everything, as far as I can tell, looks just the same. Now, I said my copy of the 2020 version is numbered, and that is one way you can tell the difference. The numbers 1 through 1000 were dispensed in 2020, and the numbers 1001 through 2000 were dispensed in the 2021. Edition. All of the differences that I've been able to find are in the first 16-page regular paper chunk of these books, which is the first signature of the books, and this is because that signature was made up very early in the process. You can see Brandon signing it on several of his live streams, and so it actually underwent a little bit of revision while the rest of the book was being gamma read, and so there are a couple of changes that snuck in to the front pages here. One of the most obvious ones is the font on the dedication right here. You can see in the 2021 version on the right that the font used for the dedication has what's called swashes. It's basically just a slightly fancier font. The copyright and everything, however, is identical and identifies it as a first printing of the book. Now, as we move through to the acknowledgments, we can start to see some more interesting differences. The first one is right here where it says, but giving up, and here it says, but giving new line up. This line of text was reflowed. All of the words in here are exactly the same. The word up is simply on the next line in the 2021 version, which makes the text be spaced out very slightly different. We can find a couple more examples of this. One shows up here at the bottom of page XVIII, where this but in the 2020 version has been moved to the next line in the 2021 version and is down here. Again, the text is exactly the same. A slightly larger but still just flow-based change is right here on page XIX, where the word call was bumped up a line, and this has reflowed the lines for the rest of the paragraph, changing which words are at the beginning and end of lines and changing the spacing ever so slightly. The only text change where the words are different that I've been able to find is here on page XX, where Brandon specifically mentions Rachel Bass and Christy Stewart in the 2020 version and in the 2021 version, he specifically mentions Rachel Bass and Christy Gilbert. I believe that Christy got married and changed her last name at some point during the publication process of this book, and so it got updated for this latest version over here. After this, we mainly get out of the signature for the beginning of the book, and the changes begin to go away, and I have not actually found any more changes of the text flow. There is, however, one more rather major change to the book itself, which can be found on the map right here just before the text of the book begins, and you can see the text is just so much easier to read on 
the 2021 version, all of the text has been brought to a slightly lighter shade of blue and given a white outline or shadow. And this would have been done because they got this version and said, oh, that map is kind of washed out and hard to read. And so they revised it to look just a little bit brighter and easier to see. Other art looks a little bit brighter as well. They may have changed the shade of blue and the amount of black and saturation in some of these. However, I have not found any more added outlines in the art. Those are the differences in volume one of the books. And yes, there is one small textual difference with the name change and several other small differences with the refilling of lines and the changes to the map. Now, the only change from that set that carries over to volume two is the change to the maps. And that change is not on the main map. It is on the like sketchbook maps that are included in the text. And we can see that strongly here in this map of Carbranth, which is considerably more blue and a bit brighter in the 2021 version, which is on the right. Here is another change to one of the pieces of art on the art here on the left from the 2020 version on page 1054, which is Map of the Battle of the Tower by Navani. The text in the upper right is in black, and in the 2021 version, the text in the upper right is in blue. So that is a dead giveaway right there that you have one version or the other of the map. I also just noticed, oh my god. Okay, so this one is probably the most different, and I actually did not notice this until I was just going through now. The version over here has no glyphs for the movements of the various high princes. The version over here has glyphs for the movements of the high princes. So this piece of art very definitely changed between the two. And so... These two are also considered separate states. Of course, keep in mind, all differences here are only the differences that I know of so far. If more differences are found, we will note them on the Collecting Sanderson website, where we do separate books by state, and links to all of the states of these two books will be in the description. I hope this video was helpful for y'all in determining which state of the books you have. For now, the two states aren't really a big deal. Nobody is selling something as a first state or a second state on eBay. And so you'll just get a Way of Kings leather bound if you order it on eBay. Note that these are no longer in stock on the Dragonsteel store. So the only way to get them at the moment is through eBay. Dragonsteel will bring them back at some point, although they will not be signed through the Dragonsteel store anymore and they will be second printings, and further when they come back in stock with Dragonsteel. I'd like to end my video today by saying a huge thank you to everyone who has helped make this possible. Isaac, who made my glyph, CJ, who animated it, Michael and Seise over at The Black Piper, who did the Kaladin music album and have agreed to let me use their music for my intro and outro, which has just really helped bring these videos up to the next level, so thank you to everyone. Links to the Black Piper's music are in the description if you want to check that out and get the Kaladin music album. I will be back next week with another video about collecting books, and until then, happy collecting!